Global News Morning. So good to see you on this Friday morning. Please join us in welcoming one of the region's biggest supporters of artists. We have Dave Dossett from Martello Alley and also uh, Martello on Brock. Lots to talk about, lots going on in the world of Martello Alley. Uh, let's kick off this time of year. The Great Pumpkin Search. What's happening there, Dave? Well, thank you, Bill. Great to be here live. Yeah. Um, this is something I started uh, years ago with our friends at Cornerstone. Of course, Cornerstone is no longer open, mm. uh, but it was a way for uh, a, a group of businesses to collaborate on a big event so that uh, people who shop at one store will also discover other stores that they normally wouldn't have seen. Downtown, yeah. Yeah, and it's uh, it's organized, we organize it ourselves, and uh, we each business uh, provides at least $25 in vouchers or gifts or whatever and it goes into a big pot so we have I think I think we're, we're still gathering it but we're looking at about I'm sure we'll have about four hundred dollars worth of goods that will be a prize to the people who complete all the 12 pumpkin hunts in each of the downtown stores okay and what do they have to do all they have to do is walk into a store and we actually have an app uh, like an online form that they can use they can so still do it by hand too so smart but Dave. they find the uh, pumpkin and then they either enter it or they tell the people at the store their name address and phone number and they go to the next place and once they've done all of those 12 locations and they're listed there yeah it's not so hard there are here are the answers right here yeah you have to go there yeah you just go there you don't have to you know and that's of course martello alley uh we'll have the uh inflatable marshmallow man outside <laughs> and uh you know we're participating martello and brock and and 10 other stores it's it's fun it's free it's a great activity for for kids and for families that's perfect for this time of year and again yeah. not just a supporter of uh, painters and artists, but also um, of downtown. Downtown, I I'm, love a, that. I'm a big downtown fan. He yes. really is. Also, let's talk about Fouad Art. It's that time of year. Yeah, well, of course, it comes in late January, early February, and it goes till it melts, but we have to prepare now. Right. Uh, this is a different kind of event. We're the only ones that I'm aware of in the that, world. In the, in the world that don't carve. So these aren't carvings. These are 300 pound blocks of ice with art embedded in them. And uh, what we do is around now, <laughs> if we can get ourselves organized, we get uh, artists to uh, use this plexiglass. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, we're looking at some of the examples of yeah, the art encased in, 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 in plexiglass. Ice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that one is, Sid. I did that one, and that was in front of Terra Foods. I think that was last year. Uh, that's our mascot for Marteau on Brock. But it, uh, it's amazing, yes, and that's the octopus uh, that Amanda did. Amanda Boutillier. That's right. Yeah. And this is Rosalind's piece, and that was outside of Cornerstone. Oh, we missed them. They were, they were wonderful. They're good people there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we really missed that store. But, uh, yeah, that one lasted a good long time. And, and it's free. You don't have to pay. Nope. Okay, so show us the example here. So this so, is the acrylic, I guess? Yeah, that? so it's, it's clear, but obviously it's not here, clear here because it has a, a piece of protective film on both sides. So yeah. It doesn't scratch and trans transport, but it's uh, it's this size, and they paint the entire side, usually one side. It could be two, and um, in a factory, it puts it in ice, and yeah. then the ice gets dropped off to yeah, different locations around downtown. Exactly. Now it's a special process because it has to be put in a vat and frozen over a long period of time so the ice is clear. Otherwise, it will look like ice cubes in your fridge. Yeah, you can't cloudy. see through it. Yeah, exactly. And then it's beautiful because uh, sometimes there's lights shining through it. Mm -hmm. And at night when you're walking around, gorgeous. Yeah, it's, a, it's an outdoor ice art show that's for the public. We normally don't have art shows in the winter. They're usually spring, summer, and fall, but nothing in the winter. Beautiful. Now, you think that's enough on Dave's plate. No, <laughs> Dave's going to keep it going here with uh, fall into... Art. The art uh, show and sale at Martello Alley. Fall into, uh, yes. Uh, That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, fall in love with art. Fall yes. in love with art. <laughs> and so it's a, it's a square art show, and it covers the entire main wall of Martello Alley. So everything is square foot, and it's $300 or less. So this is the time to look for gifts. If you're thinking of your gift shopping ahead of time, uh, they're perfect. Uh, this is a, the perfect location, and it's such a wonderful uh, experience. You know, Martello Alley. It's all. You it, know, and if you charming. are looking for a gift for Christmas, I love the fact that 
Mr. Shea, a renowned artist here mm -hmm. in the Kingston, like you can pick up a piece of beautiful art of something having to do with Kingston. Exactly. We all need that on our walls. Yeah, and, and at our store we only feature art and gifts and things made in uh, locally. We do not import. I love this guy, Mr. Dave Dossett from Martello Alley and Martello on Brock. You were very busy. You should leave and get get <laughs> at her. Get at her. Yeah, well, thank you very thank much. You so we much, appreciate Dave. your support. Love you, bud. Thank you. Thank you.